My thesis project is about uh, facial paralysis in humans, specifically Bell's palsy. And I illustrated the relevant anatomy and some of the procedures that can be done to correct uh, the effects of Bell's palsy for patients. So Bell's palsy is a complete ipsilateral paralysis of one side of the face. I chose this project because I've always loved to draw faces and portraits and I've always loved surgery. Before I discovered this program, I actually was on my way to go to medical school to become a surgeon. My external advisor was Dr. Stefania Tounder from the MUMC Hospital here in Maastricht. The target audience for the illustrations were for patients, so people she would see before the procedures and who would go along this journey of the surgeries and recovery with her. My biggest question going into this was, if I were the patient, uh, what would I want to know and what information would be empowering for me if I were facing this kind of disease or this surgery. The research aspect was really exciting to me because I really love research and I started with actually going directly into the OR or the OK and seeing the procedures in real life, um, able to see the patients and how the procedures worked um, and then I met more in depth with the surgeon and we spoke about the steps, uh, what were the relevant steps to show and then I did research through books and articles. Uh, the techniques that I mainly used was graphite drawing, so I sketched everything by hand first, because that's what I'm most comfortable with. And then I did a lot of elaboration in Photoshop and Illustrator. Uh, some I did more traditional. I started with complete graphite drawings, and others were more sketching first, and then more further elaboration in Photoshop. Uh, some of the techniques, for example, Illustrator was really nice for the procedures because you can do these really clean vector lines that are really nice for having precise, like precise surgical instruments or incisions, those types of things. They look really crisp and clear in Illustrator. And then if you want more of a painterly feeling, you can use Photoshop and I loved exploring different brushes and I tried a little bit hints of uh, using brush strokes like Monet and some colors and the shadows and the depths and it's kind of subtle but uh, I had a lot of fun researching that. I think the biggest challenge was trusting myself and giving myself full liberation for this project because when you're doing the curriculum and I've always, uh, I studied medicine and science before, so it was kind of freeing to be able to do kind of whatever you wanted, of course, with the guidance of my advisor and uh, her desires. And I think that was the biggest challenge, was trusting what I wanted, even if it went against the grain a bit, and there were some challenges that came up in, in the issue with diversity and representation, what does that look like? for certain patients and who should be the patient represented and why. And so I had to fight for why I believed the patient I had represented was being represented and why that was important. Uh, historically, diversity has been a huge issue in medical illustration and there's been a big gap in a lot of minorities being represented. And besides the psychological effects of not seeing yourself represented, um, there's this whole what is beauty and what who should be able to be in the public eye but besides that there's very real consequences of health for especially people of color with dermatology a lot of these conditions aren't able to be diagnosed by certain doctors because they can't recognize it because there isn't enough material illustrating these conditions with minorities or other than Caucasian or white people so it's really important for <laughs> real life health consequences. Yes, the biggest thing, uh, the takeaway is for the patients and of course anyone involved in um, people with Bell's palsy, family members, people with questions, I hope they could look at the materials and gain insight into the nerves and the muscles and how it works and how that's directly related to these procedures that are performed and the specific ones that I illustrated um, really to give a full story and so that the people walking away from this can have those questions answered and just 
feel more confident going into this. I enjoyed the research aspect, I think, the most. Uh, actually going into the operating room, seeing the surgery, I really love that. I really love experimenting with painting and technique and how I can um, find a balance of what's important to show that's not, that's clear and concise, um, well, still giving the full picture and so people can understand it but not making it confusing.